fly box, we are going to tie a straggle bugger featuring the straggle hackle from Up Avon. So we sent you a couple different colors. New stuff, really cool. Um, flows good, easy to tie with, and we have been fishing it pretty hard this fall. So um, it works. It works. So hopefully you'll enjoy tying this one. This is a size 4 hook with a cone head. And I'm going to attach my thread and lay down a nice little thread base like so. And the first thing we're going to do is tie in some marabou. So I'm going to use the olive flavor here. So find us a nice single marabou feather. And I'm going to comb that down, measure it. I want the tail to be about the length of the hook shank. So I want to be kind of in there like that. So let's, uh, let's take our thread back like that. And then I'm going to uh, actually just kind of tie this down all the way going forward. Up towards the cone. And then we can snip off the excess. I'm just building a little thread base, a little underbody. So now I can just really tie down and cinch down those. And that just builds up a little bulk that I like for the underbody. All right, now let's add, I've got some gold flashaboo. Let's put a little flash in the tail. You can use as much or as little flash as you would like. So let's, uh, I'm gonna do one strand on each side of the tail. So I'll secure that in. Let's fold it over and run it down the other side. And now we can snip off the uh, excess like that. All right, now we're ready for the up a bond chenille. Okay, I'm gonna just tie that in, make sure I secure the cord right down against the hook. And now I can advance my thread up towards the cone. We're just basically gonna wrap this um, over the top away from us like that. And if you need to, you can kind of comb back some of those fibers as you wrap. And we're just gonna build a crazy body, but I kind of like this sunshine color scheme. It looks kind of bright and gaudy when the flies dry, but when you're actually fishing it and swimming it, it really has a lot of movement and some good coloration to it. So let's just work our way forward. And then once we get to the cone, I want to make a few turns nice and tight right against the cone just to maybe build up a little bulk and uh, fill in that little space that's up under the cone. So don't be afraid to make three or four extra turns right there. Okay, now we're ready to tie that off. So let's hold that with my right hand, drop my thread over with my left hand, right there nice and tight behind the cone three or four times. And now we can snip off the excess like that. Let's just make a couple more turns right there. All right, now if you need to, you can kind of brush those fibers back so they're all laying back. Now let's put on another piece of marabou. We're gonna lay this along the top of the fly. So I wanna measure that feather so the tips extend just past the up on chenille. All right, I'm gonna just lay that in there nice and tight and make sure that I secure those butts right down under that cone like that and 
We can add a little bit of flash to the top of the fly as well if we'd like. I'm just going to take a, a single strand like so, tie that down, and just kind of fold it over like I did on the back. And now we're ready to whip finish. So I've got some flash going on there. Now we can whip finish, add a little glue. I like to run a little super glue down up under that cone and just lock everything in place. Like so. All right, now the last thing we can do, take a little Sharpie marker here and let's add some barring along the top. And that really seems to add some effect to that fly. So I'm just basically uh, striping that marabou feather all the way down the back. <laughs> 